intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Hello. Welcome to a fun video. Um, I got a package in the mail today. I picked up some coins from a member of the YouTube community. Uh, James Glossford sent me these coins. Um, I picked them up from him to just list them out on eBay and such. Try to sell some of them. Maybe add some to my collection. I'm not sure. But I figured let's cut into this and see what's going on in here and see what I got. Um, I uh, did take out out of the outside box. Uh, this was packaged really, really well. And you see all the tape on this one on the outside of the, the big box that this was in. Um, was taped up really well as well. So let's get in here and see what we got going on. And already on top, we got some fun stuff here. Um, here, let's break this out. It looks like we have the 1939 double die here. That's really cool. And then this is a 2009 wide AM. Let's take a look. And it looks like there is a gap between the A and M there. So that is really cool. Nice. I'll have to put those under the scope and check them out. All right. Um, I do have a bunch of uh, odds and ends here. I've got some full crowns. Got a cud on Colorado. State coin there. Um, let's see. We got a 98, a 2000, two 2000 wide AMs here. And the wide AM is going to have a gap between the A and M. If it was normal, it'd be almost touching. And those look good from what I can see here so far. A few more full crowns. And the full crown die chip is the big die chip on top of the head here. And that one is a big one. For sure. All right. Got another cut here. That one is a small little cut there. Oh, here's another Dakota cut. This one is a good size one right there. Nice. And then let's see what else do we have. The die chips on this one. I do have some uh, bunch of stuff that is just die chips. Die chip on those it looks like. Um, um, big die chip. There's a die chip in the on the bell tower there. Good size die chip. Let's see, Roosevelt die chip on elbow fringe. Um, I guess there's a die chip there. I've never seen a die chip there. Okay, that's a spot I haven't got a die chip on. Tuskegee. Die chip. A lot of these I don't know where the die chips are. It's probably on the plane. Yep, there's a little one on the plane there. Get my little pointer out. Um, another full crown. Another full crown. And uh, there's a there was a stack of full crowns in here. Let's see what else we have here. Touch up on the arm. That one is right here. Well, that's a pretty sizable touch up. Not bad there. This one is 2008. This is a die chip up here in the cactus. I've never found them up here in my hunts. I always find them down here. Sometimes they would find some over here, but there's a die chip there. That one's a nice shape too, so that's that's cool. Thank you, Bucket. I found one of these in my recent hunts here. Um, the die chip on the bottom. A couple more full crowns there. Let's see. What else do we have here? Another wide AM. There's the gap between there and a, another white AM. White AMs are cherry pickers, guys. West Virginia Cuds. On a lot of these states that have like the little thin rim here in between the uh, designs on the back and the rim, you can find Cuds in that area. So if you're looking for Cuds, that's a good place to look. There's another one of the West Virginia. 
1980. Oh, this is a nickel cud. You see this right here? It's a big old chunk of metal right there. That's not supposed to be there. That's a nice cud. 1957 double date. I'll have to look at that under the. There's some die chips in there, it looks like. But I'll have to look at that one under the scope and see what's going on there. 1972, it says clip planchet here. There's a little bit of Blakesley effect over here. I'm not seeing it. Um, I'll have to pull that out and take a good look at it. Looks like it is a clip planchet from what I can tell. So that is cool. 1982 clip planchet. Nice. Let's see. Is there any weakness over here? There's a little bit of weakness on the rim there. Let's check the other side. Um, there's a little bit of weakness on the rim on the other side. These uh, shallow clips don't always have the Blakesley effect on them. Here's another small rim clip there. You can see on the rim where it's a little bit right there. It's a little bit of the shallow Blakesley effect on the rim because this is a shallow clip, a very, very small clip. Sometimes it only shows up on the rim. It doesn't always show up the Blakesley effect. Here's another. That's a straight clip. You see how it goes straight instead of curved? 47 foot plancha there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go through a lot of this stuff. And uh, this one has die chips and cracks on it. Um, it's the 2020s. There's all kinds of different places you can find die chips and cracks on it. They're usually around the baby bat ear and head there you can find um, chips and cracks on it. And then you can find some on the wings and stuff. Um, it's kind of hard to see. It looks like there might be right here. Is the crack. This one is a big chip. That one is a little little bit of the chip on top of the hat. And you can find them in all different sizes. This one is a chip on the wing. A chip on the nose here. That's a common place to find it on the, especially on the 2022s. Um, you can find them on the 2023s, one of them's quarter. There is a little bit of a part of the crown there started on that. Die chip, so I can see a die chip here. Looks like there's a die chip there. 2019, let's see, half crown. So yeah, that is a good size die chip right there. Not as big as the other ones we've seen. Okay, Nebraska State Quarter, there's a die chip on the side of the mountain there. I've never found one of those in a hunt. Um, die chip. It's on top of the bell tower there. Um, the ones on the bell tower there are commonly referred to as, uh, there's another die chip there. Um, the lulls with the die chips in the bell tower are commonly referred to as ghosts in the bell tower. Let's see, die chip on plane again here. Let's see, it's 1982, no FG. And let's see. Here, there should be a designer's initials. Um, and to be considered a no FG, it has to be not there. If there's a tiny, tiny bit there, um, it is just considered a weak, and it does does not get the variety. Uh, the die chip is here. Yeah, the F, no FG doesn't get a variety unless it is completely gone. There's a variety designation. Oh, there's a die chip there. I've never seen that die chip before. Cool. Um, chip on the nose. I find these quite often. Great sandstone. Die chip on the head. There's a little die chip right there. Looks like. Looks like there might be a little die chip up here above the mountain as well. It could be just. No, I'm just seeing things. Nebraska die chip. See, I think the die chip is right there. And I, I'm just looking at these coins for the first time, so I'm just uh, figured I would uh, take a look and see what we got. There's another wide AM, another 2000 wide AM, and another 2000 wide AM. 
All right, let's see. And then we got a 98 quad AM. Let's see. Another die chip with chips and cracks. This one is a bit rough. Leaky bug it. And die chip and crack. Um, like possibly right here on the plane. Is that what I'm seeing? If it is somewhere else, I am missing it. That looks like it right there, though. This one says clip planchet. No, that is just damage. That is a damage. That is a ding because you can see the rim is pushed over. That is not a clip planchet. Sorry, James. There. This one says clipped. I'll have to look at that one because this one is so worn. That might be, that looks like it's possible damage and not a clip. I'll have to look at that one. Because you see how the edge is kind of uh, being there. You know, it looks like someone kind of pushed it and you can see how the rim looks like it's pushed into the words this one probably is just damage you can see the full rim if it was a clip planchet the rim would disappear uh, this is a d over d um, i'll have to now all these little uh, rpms i'm gonna have to take a look at and see what's going on with those under the scope because i'm not able to see here this is D over S. Well, I might be able to see a little something there in the camera. 3D over D. It's hard to see in the flips in the camera. This is another D over D, 56. Um, I think I can see those. There. This is a D over S, 1955 D over S. I don't, again, I'll have to look under the scope on these to see what's going on there. 3D over D. Um, none of these are big enough to see on camera that I can tell. Um, of course, I'm not looking directly into the camera. I'm kind of on an angle on the camera. Tie chip on the hat. So there's a little tie chip there. And another tie chip is it here. Yep, right there. Okay, let's take a look at some more of these. There's another wide AM 2000, another 2000 wide AM, another cud. Let's see, it looks like right here. Yeah, it's touching the rim, so that would be a cud. Bat four die chips. Um, looks like I see some up in here. One there. And is that one there? Or... I'm seeing them up here. These just might be spots or dings. I'm not seeing the fourth one. But uh, some of those are small and hard to see. I chip on the hat. I found a couple of these recently. Um, let's see. Nina Ontero, so 2022 die chip on the nose. And a die chip on the hat. That is a small one there. Those are quite common. Um, so let's see. Bessie Coleman, die chip on the wing of the plane. Die chip. There's a little die chip between the wing and the um, little border there that has the uh, information. A uh, huge die chip. That's pretty. That's pretty sizable die chip on the hat there. Nice. But they are pretty common. To find die chips on the nose and die chips on the hat there. Another die chip on the nose. That's a common place to find those. And God we rust. This one looks like it is missing quite a bit. The more that's missing, the more rare it is. Die chip. A big die chip on the hat. This one is pretty dirty and circulated. Another die chip up here. In or on the bell tower. Touch up on the um, 
thing there. It says struck through reeds. I'll have to take this out and look at it, but it looks like this one has possibly just been machined flat, rubbed flat there. Um, there is a little bit of grease strike through on it, but this one looks like it's been rubbed flat. Might have got stuck in a machine or something, or someone machined it down. The rim's pretty worn flat there as well. But I'll have to pull that out and look at that one. I mean, you can see the scratching on it there. It's like someone took something and kind of polished it down like a will here. 1983 sound is off. That one looks like it's been soaked in acid or something like that. It's, no, actually, this has probably been in the ground for a long time. Someone probably dug it up. That's the discoloration, and when it's been in the ground for a long time, um, no? This might be, uh, yeah, someone might have soaked this in acid. One or the other, I'll have to, I'll have to pull it out and look at it, but uh, that is definitely um, one or the other. But when uh, coins are in the ground for a long time, they get the, the acidic soil kind of turns the surface's colors and eats away at them a little bit and does uh, make them sound a little bit weird. Die chip there. Um, oh, a die chip on top of the flag there. I've never found one of these in my hunts. Another die chip on the nose. On another 2022. And we're still going with these die chips here. Leaky bucket. And this one is destroyed just about. Um, another die chip on the top of the rifle there. Half leaky bucket and snow on the roof. So there's a little die chip up here called snow on the roof. And then a little bit of one down here for the leaky bucket. Another die chip under the arm there. Die chip on the wing. That is a common place to find them. Although they're not super common. I don't find these very often on the wing. But uh, that's a pretty good size die chip there. Not formed right. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm going to have to take a look at that one. I'm not sure what that is there. 2020 with a die crack. It looks like the die crack's right there. I found a few of these here and there. 1957 BIE. The die chip in between B and E. Looks like an I, so they call it a BIE die chip. Pretty much any die chips in here are commonly referred to as BIE die chip. That one is a pretty dark coin, so it's kind of not showing up on camera in the flip there. Another die chip under the arm. You can find die chips right in here. Looks like there's one here too. Pretty. Looks like this whole section is full of die chips. That's a larger die chip. I, I found them in between the, the finger and the sword, and they are kind of tiny in there. So I don't always look for those because of how small they are. But that one is a pretty sizable one. There's another one of those. And a die chip on the nose. This one is pretty rough. Let's see. Um, we have a Montana cud. This, this coin is pretty rough, but you can see the cud there on the side. Let's see what I can get out of here. Uh, 2019 says there's die chips on the keys. Is that what that is there? Kind of looks like where it is, although I can't see it clear enough there. Double date and mint mark, 1958. I'll have to look at that one under the scope. I'm not seeing it. I mean, there's something there on the nine. That could be a die chip, I'm not sure. Tuskegee die chip. So, I'm not seeing a die chip here. I'm not, uh, it's right here, I think. Yep, that looks like the die chip right there on the front of the plane's wing. Another new FG. I'm going back to these uh, to get the designation. The FG has to be 
completely gone. I'm not seeing it there, so that is uh, neat there. Um, let's see, Tuskegee, die chip on the hat. Uh, drool die chip, there's die chip on the mouth. That is a common. This is die chip on both sides. Um, you can find die chips in the hair. That is very common to find die chips in the hair. I think you find a, more with die chips in the hair than without. Um, well, in my area, I do at least die chip on the plane there. And Dutch up in the roof and one there on the um, on the elbow. I don't. I found them on the roof, but I don't really find them on the elbows. Here's another one, the 2019 with it on the flag there. Another Dutch up on the nose. Two plain Dutch ups. Looks like there's one there, and uh, you can find them on the wing as well. Yeah, it looks like it's right there. Another in God We Rust quarter. I've got stacks of a lot of these things um, already. So let's see. Die chip here on the rifle. We got another cut here. Another West Virginia cut. This one looks like right here, just right here. Montana cut, there's another one of these. Colorado cut. Another no FG. There's a little mark there, but that does not look like. Um, I'll have to double check that one. Oh, look at that lamination. That is a crazy lamination for sure. Wow. Nice. Get these out here. Off center strike. That's pretty cool. You can see the coin was struck um, about 80, 90, 90% off center. 80, uh, probably about 85% off center. Those, I always find those pretty cool. This one says off center. You can see there's a little bit more room on this side than that side. I'll have to take a look. And the reverse. The reverse is centered, so this would be a misalignment. So only one side of the die was off. So instead of hitting um, the same, one side was off. So the coin was struck normally on one and a little bit off on the other. And there's another, this one says off center. You can see the rim is bigger on that side and it's actually eaten into the uh, boards on this side. Um, but the reverse is center, so that is a misaligned die there. But that is, once it once the alignment gets into the lettering and details and stuff, um, that is a pretty uh, far off alignment. This one has a, just a gob of grease here that struck through it. And probably on the obverse, yep, on the obverse two. The New Jersey lamination chin. Um, so right here on the chin, on the 50s, I have found that there is some markings on the chin here. That appears to be some like dye, like they re-engraved the dye or polished the dye there and it caused those lines. Um, I've found, uh, I've found a lot of those and I thought that was something at first, but I'm pretty sure that's just, uh, um, just dye tool marks or they, you know, uh, retool the dye to, to, uh, fix a spot or something. Um, another leaky bucket here. And I've got another leaky bucket. There's another leaky bucket, another leaky bucket. That one is a good size one there. And a, another leaky bucket. Let's see what else do we have? Another leaky bucket. Let's see, another Ngari Rust. Ngari Rust, another die chip on the hat. 
um, two die chips. There's a little. See one there. Not seeing the other one unless it's. They're both right there and they're just separate. Also, island die chip. Not found in my hunts. I've not found any die chips on these. Is that it right there? That looks like it. I'll have to look at this one close. It's the only thing that appears out of normal, uh, just looking at it. Die chip on the shoulder there. Um, we got a couple of blank planchets here. Um, you can see this one looks like it has a rim. So if it has a rim, it is a planchet. And uh, if it doesn't have a rim, it's a blank, technically speaking. This one looks weird. Um, that one just looks a little odd. And then another blank planchet. So before the coins are struck, it goes through a little rolling mill that kind of pushes the, the edges up into a little raised section so it helps form the rims of the coin. Um, I believe there are blanks until that happens and then they're called planchets. Te technically speaking, I could be wrong there so don't quote me on that. I'd have to go and double check that because I don't talk about that very often so it's not on the tip of my mind. Um, we got a die chip on the hat there and two giant chips, probably die chips up here. One there, possibly one there. Those are really small, really tiny. Let's see, another cud, looks like there's a small cud there, another cud there on Colorado, West Virginia, cud right there, Colorado cud, that's a decent sized cud right there, goes all the way up and down the side there, a little cud right there, small cud right there, and let's see, I got another leaky bucket down here, another full crown, um, die chip in the left eye, it's right there it looks like, there's a die chip, die chips on, there's one on the hat there that I can see, and then another cut here. A cut is a die chip on the rim. Cut doesn't stand for anything. It's just um, the name that was given to it and stuck. High mint mark, 90, 90, 1957 high mint mark. Yeah, it looks like a high mint mark. Um, usually you can find them pretty much anywhere in this area because they, they move a little bit because they're hand punched. But if they get low where they're touching the rim and they're up high where they're kind of in that area be a low mint mark and a high mint mark okay cool that is all the loose coins and then these i'm just gonna see what we got here bessie coleman's those are probably die chips i'm assuming all these are going to be die chips san antonio lowell bat and tall grass 2019 2019s i think those are all 2019s bat is 2020 2019 2020 die chips finish on die chips And this uh, Ingaldry Rust Quarters, more San Antonio, Lowell, Bat, and Tallgrass Quarters, um, Anna, Maya, Sally, and Wilma, the 2022's Nose and Drool die chips. I already have rolls of these stuff. I've got tons of these, so this is just going to add a few more rolls of this stuff. George Warsh's Cart, Columbia, and Nebraska. So more of the stuff that we've already seen. But uh, rolls of it, it looks like. And you can see there's there's um, tons of these things. Block Island. There's Block Island. The uh, die chip is more common than not die chip in my experience. Kansas and Nebraska. AMP where farm Apostle Island. So more uh, um, 2018 through 2020 coins there with die chips. Harper's Ferry, so that's going to be like leaky buckets and, and stuff like that. Um, Tuskegee Airmen 2021 there. Um, so more spitting horse. 
Um, spinning bison, that's a little uh, where the, there's a die crack or die gouge coming out of the horse's mouth on those. Um, you can zoom in since there's one here. There'd be a little bit of a die gouge or die crack coming out of the horse's mouth. And or the bison's mouth on the 20, 2005 and stuff. And there's die chips you can find on those. Um, Again, more of the same stuff and more of the same stuff. Oh, I haven't, maybe, I don't know if I was on camera for the last few. And then one more dutch on the nose that was done on the side here. It looks like we have one more on the side and that is another die chip and crack, most likely up in here. You can see a die chip there, maybe a die crack as well. Okay, so I think that's all the coins in the box, that's what it looks like. Okay, so I've kind of got them sorted out by date, odds and ends. I've got stuff up here and down here off the camera and off to the side. There's just uh, so much stuff here um, that I can't fit it all on the camera here and see what I'm doing with the camera. It'd be way, way up there and I'd just be kind of looking up at it. Um, <laughs> so... Um, so I do have a lot of stuff like this listed as so some of the common stuff, like the leaky buckets, the hand got to do rust quarters, a bunch of die chips. Um, those things don't sell very often on eBay. Just uh, whenever someone wants them, they'll come across them, pick them up, like the Ghost in the Bell Towers there as well. Um, so I got to go through all these, sort out, list some stuff on eBay and what have you. Um, if you are interested in checking out my eBay store, there's a link in the description and there is a coupon code for there for 5% off any purchases. Um, so feel free to use that if you would like to go through eBay. If you don't like using eBay or would like to just do uh, pick up some stuff um, straight from me, um, shoot me an email. Let me know what you're looking for. Uh, I mean, you can go from here and if you're looking for anything else um, that I didn't uh, go through here, um, let me know. In, uh, if, if you're interested in picking up anything. So that is where I'm at. Thank you very much, James, for uh, doing this. I got to go through this and get it all into inventory and uh, figure out what I'm going to do with all of this exactly and how things are going and 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 uh, get some of it listed. And I've got stacks of other things I've got to go through that uh, aren't from this that I'm still trying to work my way through and, and get listed as well, so. This is a definitely a fun, fun to look through a bunch of coins and stuff. So that was interesting. Got some really cool things. And uh, yeah, um, I think that is it. I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. Um, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Helps me out. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I forgot I was going to show these as well. Those are some, those are probably the uh, big coins of the... Uh, lot here and i want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel i very very much appreciate it if anyone is interested in becoming a member feel free to check out the link below again thank you very much for your support well i do hope you enjoyed the video if you click on that link right there it'll help me out and then I have a couple videos over here that is recommended so if you would like to watch another one I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.